126 BPM. Then select Kick. Add it. Then select Clap. Then I added an extra kick to spice up the beat. I then used top loop to complement the beat with drums. Then I added fill drums and a few extra drums, all to diversify the groove. Then chose bass shot as the stab. In the meantime, I set the key I will work on I chose D minor. Now it will be easier to build melodies in key. I added sidechain to my bass shots. At the end I will give impact. I added an extra hat to get a better groove. Now since. First I chose lead. I added it to the mixer and added side chain. Then I chose the bass and composed the bass line melodies. Now I'm composing lead melodies. I cut the lower frequencies from the bass to put a sub-bass in its place. Now I selected the sub-bass and copied the bass melodies onto it and added the sidechain. Now I will add white noise to glue all the layers together. Now I have added vocal shots to fill the background. I also added formant automation to diversify the vocals. Now I added white noise. I also used the pitch effect. I added another fill drum before the drop. I don't really like this melody so I change it to another one. I also changed the bass to better suit the new melody. We've already done part A of the drop. Now it's time to build part B.
I removed the base from the base layer to replace it with the sub base layer. I added everything to the mixer and sidechain. Now I diversify the lead and bass pitch with effects to avoid boredom. I connect the sub layer to the controller so that the automation works on both layers. Now it copies it to the second part of the drop. And now it will automate the lead and bass sound to introduce some movement in these layers. I will use macro automation in Serum for this purpose. I will add reverb to the lead. Now I have added a reverse sound effect to announce it and spice up the song. I added the Elfo Shaper Box effect to the reverse effect. I did the same with the B part sound. Now I change the melodies a bit in the second part of the drop so that it doesn't get boring. I'll add some rest at the end. All thanks used in this material come from my new pack, Bass Madness. Designed so that you have all the sounds you need to create the entire song. You will find 600 samples and 100 presets for Serum dedicated to Bass House and Future House. Link in the description. Let's go back to the tutorial. I added pitch automation to rest. Then I will add EQ and reverb automation. Now I did some quick mastering. I added glue to eliminate peaks. I have to compress the whole thing a bit and invisible limiter. To gain some volume. I added a riser at the end to keep everything moving towards the end of the frame. And this is the final effect. 